mean, if people think too much about life and right and wrong and all this shit, just can do what makes you happy at the end of the day. Is that your Said every Erroneous. serial killer ever? Erroneous. I didn't hear should you. It, should, should, I'm sorry. Should a serial be a serial killer because it makes them happy? As long as you're doing doesn't affect other people, I don't really give a Killer kills yeah, people. everything you do affects That's other people. Everything. I'm sorry. There's nothing you do which does not affect other people. Nothing. Right now you're speaking, that affects other people. Okay, you going to the grocery store, that affects other people. You having a job, it affects other people. You spending money, it affects other people. In a negative the way. The idea that everything you do doesn't affect other people is absurd. Everything you do. Doc Vinabli donated $199. Brixon, I see you brought the Brain Trust featuring Nicolette. Angelic will end up with prize hubby. Nicolette, you will always be the disposable side chick. Uh, Doc, thanks for the TTS, man. Appreciate it. Nicolette, you want to respond to Doc? Love you. Keep donating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate it. Andrew, did you want to continue on with... Uh... Yeah, I just I just like to point this out that that the idea that uh, do whatever you want because it makes you happy as long as it doesn't affect other people in and of itself is absurd because basically everything you do affects somebody else. They're almost I mean almost everything I can think of really affects somebody else. So if that is the case, then doesn't it make it everybody's business what you do ultimately because it does have some effect on them. Well, clearly, you don't give a fuck what you do, how it affects other people, because you insulted me earlier by using a term I didn't even know. So you're a hypocrite once again. But everybody Yeah, but you said everybody's a hypocrite. Yeah, they, you say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So you're, you're so saying... If, if everybody, so if everybody's a hypocrite, it's meaningless, right? That's a meaningless term at that point. You're just saying all of us have... It's like saying everybody's a human. It just doesn't mean anything if all of us are... Like, what does that mean? It's not saying anything anymore. And the reason you use an argument from hypocrisy is because you have no arguments. You don't even know it's fallacious. And so what you do is you use arguments from hypocrisy because you view hypocrisy as being like that of a thief or that of somebody who has nefarious intentions, and that's not even what it means. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. So backing up real quick, even if I was a hypocrite, can you negate my argument or not? What is your argument? Because you want a little My attack. argument is that everything people do affects other people. So just making the blanket statement, wait a second, you should be able to do whatever you want as long as it doesn't affect anybody, doesn't mean anything. Can I speak? Yeah. Okay. So as long as it doesn't affect people in a negative way. Yeah, but how do you make that determination? How do you make any determination of anything? That's what I'm at. Well, I'm asking. I think we know how we make determinations of things. We would use intuition, feelings, logic, reason, all sorts of different things. And how according we make to my feelings, reason, logic, I don't think what mm -hmm. I'm doing is hurting other people except you because you seem really triggered right now. I, I seem triggered. You're the one who's freaking out. You've been freaking out. You like know, maybe, the entire panel, you've been freaking out. Maybe if I had a cigarette, I'd be just And by the you. way, just saying you're freaking out, also not an argument. I wish you would actually respond to the argument. Do not do people not use intuition and logic and reason to make all sorts of judgment evaluations all the time? I and often they're correct, right? I literally just addressed that. So the answer is yes, right? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, don't you think intuitively most people, for instance, wouldn't let their six-year-old watch your OnlyFans? Yes. Yeah, why? Because it's illegal. No, even if it was legal, do you think they would then? So that would go against my morals. Poor yeah, honest call that's like not answering, answering my question. Is donated $200. If I did one push-up every time the guntastic Nicolette said something profoundly idiotic, I'd look like Hercules by the end of the stream. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, but this doesn't answer my question. I'm not asking if it's legal, and I'm not asking if it's moral. I'm asking if you think people would just let them do that because it was legal. Obviously, they wouldn't, right? Well, in other countries, six-year-olds are legal, and they're marrying adults. So, yeah, they probably would. That's not legal. Yeah, we're talking about here in the United States, the country that we're in. So you said it doesn't matter if it's illegal, right? Yeah, even if it was not illegal, most people would still not let their children watch your own page, right? Well, that's probably not true, because if you go to other countries... It's not true? He's talking <laughs> no. about you think, America. So wait, you no, think if yeah, it was not a crime? It, so you wait, I just want to make sure I got this right. If it wasn't a crime, you think most mothers would allow their six-year-olds to watch your own 
I just want to make sure we got this clear. Well, a lot of mothers in other countries marry off their six-year-olds. No, mothers in other countries aren't letting their six-year-olds watch OnlyFans. What delusional sh And what, what type of methamphetamine are you smoking that you think in other countries, mothers are letting their children watch OnlyFans? Girl, where did you come up with this bullshit? I'm not saying it's right, but by your logic, you're saying, oh, if it wasn't illegal in other countries where shit is not illegal, that's illegal here, they're doing great like what? I just said, for example, marrying off their six-year-olds. Yeah, that's a, that's a completely distinct argument from this one that I'm making. Do you think that in other countries, even other countries, that if it were legal for mothers to allow their six, seven, eight-year-olds to watch your own that they would do that? That they'd be like, sure, little yes Johnny, or no go question. ahead. Yes or no would they allow them to? Is that the question? Yeah. yeah would yes they or no? allow them to? No. Well, then there's some kind of shared intuition here for how you are negatively affecting tons and tons and tons of people. Because if your assumption is that little Johnny would, if mommy didn't say no, then your intuition saying that you have a negative impact, isn't it? Well, according to my knowledge, feelings, and reasons, I'm not aware of any six-year-olds watching my own. And if they are, yeah. that says a lot to speak about the mother and the parents who are not watching their child well enough. Yeah, right. But they shouldn't be, right? They shouldn't be doing that? They shouldn't be because my content is under a paywall where you have to be 18 years old and have an yeah, idea. Yeah, right. I up. get that. But what I'm saying is that there's a shared intuition there then that you share with them. And so this has an effect on all of you doing your hands, in other words, has an effect on people because if nobody did no mother anywhere would have to worry about little Johnny watching all hands, right? Well, if you want to put it that way, I think everything in life is about intent. My intent is not for little Johnny to be jumping off to my own. It's for little Johnny's dad to be jumping off to my own. Oh, what a fantastic argument. My intent what? when I was drunk driving wasn't to mow down that family with my car, so therefore I didn't <laughs> do anything wrong, right? I mean, if you want to... If, oh, uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. There, we're not getting anywhere with this conversation. No, I think we will. So one more time, following your logic then, if I was a drunk driver and said, wasn't my intent to hit anybody, and I did, I didn't do anything wrong, right? Because everything's about intent, right? Wait, say that again? Your logic, your argument to me was, I think everything revolves around intent. Everything is intent-based. Yes. So if that is the case, and if I was a drunk driver and mowed down an entire family, well, I didn't actually do anything wrong because that wasn't my intent, right? Well, that, you could say that for everyone at this table. Everything has, everyone has done things unintentionally to hurt other people. Yes, but you know what they usually do? You know what non-psychopathic, non-narcissistic, non-lunatics do? They do something unintentionally to hurt other people, and they know that they've hurt another person, they usually do something about that so that they don't hurt people in the future. Except, you know, women, people who make post hoc justifications for the horrible things that they do, which is horrible for all of society, they just make uh, what I call cope arguments, where they say, no, it's okay, because I'm not hurting anybody, even though obviously they share the same intuitions that I do that's bad for society. Killing just pointing that out. donated $200. All this talk about serial killing is making me hungry. Where's my bowl? No, officer, I was not stabbing that man to death. My intention was to just get some of his blood for a science project. <laughs> right. it's, it's, it's all okay. out of debt. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kill of Serial, for the uh, TTS, man. I appreciate it. Uh, you, do you have, uh, you want to continue, Andrew, or do you have more? No, we can move the combo okay. on. 